What do you picture when you think of the world of quantum mechanics? Elementary particles behaving sometimes like particles and sometimes like waves? Particles seeming to teleport from one place to another instantaneously, or possibly teleporting through time? Do you picture long, complicated mathematical equations? Or perhaps all of this just sounds like gibberish. Often, it all sounds like a world of make-believe, but in fact this tiny, tiny world actually exists all around us. Perhaps you have heard of some of the great mysteries of the quantum world, or even some of the great discoveries of the quantum world. But many times when people talk about a quantum eraser or Schrodinger's equations, it all sounds like they're trying to describe a world a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Because, I mean, when do quantum physics ever actually affect us? Can we ever actually see it in action? Or do, do quantum laws even exist, or is it all just theoretical? Actually, thanks to hours and hours, years and years, often entire lifetimes dedicated to trying to discover this amazing world of quantum physics, we can begin to imagine what the quantum world is actually like. In fact, we can see some of its amazing properties and in action in the world today. In order to observe some quantum effects, we can look at balancing. There are some people who can balance objects that would at first appear impossible, from rocks of all shapes and sizes to other people. There are some truly spectacular feats of stability out there. There are some tricks, however, that many people use to fight against gravity. When you stand on one leg, your leg and your foot are keeping you up. Your foot acts as a base. A wider base or multiple bases will generally make you more stable. This is how people often stabilize things like rock statues that look like they're randomly thrown on top of each other when really the person making the statue is taking advantage of multiple bases. Uh, also, when you're standing on your leg, your, your leg acts as a stabilizing mechanism. This fights against small wobbles that gravity is trying to take advantage of. But what happens when your base gets really small or becomes a single point? Like, say, trying to balance a pencil on its tip. Can you balance a pencil on its tip? At this micro level, the pencil's tip, quantum effects actually come into play. We can look at this mathematically. The pencil acts in a way that physicists would call an inverted pendulum. What the inverted pendulum is referring to is the fact that the slightest deviation from being perfectly centered will be taken advantage of by gravity. Unless there's a stabilizing mechanism, the object will quickly begin to fall, increasing gravity's effect. No person who performs this high-tech experiment will be able to keep the top-heavy pencil balanced for more than about a second. This is because even the slightest off-centeredness will be taken advantage of by gravity, and the pencil will quickly fall. Let's look at an inverted pendulum mathematically. We can start with the formula force equals mass times acceleration and convert it to its tangential form. Now we can describe theta of the pencil as a function of time here. Underneath the radical here we have the reduced Planck constant. Thus as you can see this entire value underneath the radical is going to be constant itself. This shows that as time increases theta is going to increase exponentially as well. From this equation, we can derive time. Now, assuming that the mass of our pencil is equal to 0 0.01 kilograms, our length is going to be equal to 0.1 meters, 
g is equal to 10 meters per second squared and our reduced Planck's constant is equal to 1.05 times 10 to the negative 34 joules we find that t is less than or equal to one quarter point one second natural log nine times ten to the sixty one which is gonna be approximately equal to three point five seconds hopefully through the mathematics you're able to see the amazing power of quantum mechanics on the pencil it's these quantum effects that produce an everyday value for a time scale. These equations show that no matter how cutting edge your brand new pencil balancing machine is, you're not going to be able to keep it standing for more than about four seconds. We could try an experiment to test the mathematics of this theory, as a good scientist would do, but I'm sure this has been tested many a time during many a boring English class or perhaps a slow statistics class. So how is the pencil actually affected by quantum mechanics? Well, in the quantum world, objects can be in two states at once. So for example, a particle such as an electron could be in two places at so once. So rather than being able to label a specific particle's position, you have to label the probability of it being in a certain position. In the case of the pencil, if you zoom into a small enough point, you're no longer sure actually where your base is. So it's actually impossible to tell where exactly all of your particles of your pencil are. It's this uncertainty of the particles that make up the pencil that causes the pencil to fall over. Or more accurately, it's this uncertainty that stops you from being able to set the pencil up perfectly in the first place. Okay. Again, no matter how precise your pencil balancing equipment is, there'll always be uncertainty as to the position of the particles that constitute the pencil, and gravity will quickly take advantage of the smallest value of theta and grow exponentially from there. Discoveries and developments in the field of quantum physics are becoming more and more numerous, and promise to make a huge impact in the future in everything from daily comfort to medicine to computer technologies. It's amazing that the human eye can actually perceive quantum effects in the macro world. Why is this so important? Well, besides the sensation of experiencing science in action and years of mathematics being applied to the real world scenarios, being able to observe real quantum effects displays the relativity of quantum mechanics in the real world. Hopefully experiments such as this help people realize, as I did, that the quantum world isn't so far, far away as we often imagine.